Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. Kind of picking up where we were left off. Ah, Jeremiah Bullfrog is in. That's. I don't know if anybody I know. Yeah, somebody in an alt. But what we are going to do today is we're going to head into the outcast systems here. We're going to. Get ourselves refamiliarized here a little bit. On the way of getting ourselves a proper mine launcher for this puppy. Possibly. Possibly some better guns. And because there will be a good amount, we're just kind of cruising through space here as we leave the Hawaii. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of weapons loadout I want on this thing. I mean, should I put some anti-shield guns, guns that just knock out shields but don't do a lot of damage? If it was a missile ship, that's what I would do. I would have a bunch of, like, you know, Baracos on it or something like that, or it's a higher level ship to Zona del Cid's. But this is primarily a bomber with just some basic guns for self-defense. And you can't fire torpedoes at point blank. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I want to really get this hooked up. For right now, I mean, I've got a couple barragers and a Luger, but that's just to have a gun, basically. They're not they're not optimal. I have to go AFK for a moment here, which I want to point out that this game is one of the best for uh, as far as AFK. You have to go AFK and you don't want to think that, you know, people think you're ignoring them. You type slash AFK in the chat. I'm away from keyboard. And as long as you're in space, guess what? It's not going to disconnect you. And since I have a neutral rep, no one's going to shoot at me. And there's no nomads here. There's no aliens in this part of the system, part of the map, so it should be fine. And you see, I used the restroom here, used the bathroom, and now I'm back. So there you go. A little bit too much information. But now, as you can see, I wasn't shot to bits. People still think I'm away from keyboard. That will stay turned on. And if someone tries to chat to me, it says, hey, Black Knight, and now it'll say, I'm away from keyboard right now. Okay, so there we have... Here we have our first wreck that we can encounter. The Pathfinder. Let us go. Put that on scanner. What kind of... We have wildfires, which are not any good for this thing. Paralyzer missiles, which aren't really good anywhere. A Gunslinger Mark I turret. You know, I'm really kind of inclined to let this one go for right now. We'll take a look at it, because if I loot this and some other player might come along who might need these weapons, I don't need them for this this uh, this ship. Let's cut engines here and take a look at it. Whoa! I was in a radiation field, I just realized, and I was not as safe as I thought. Look at my uh, health. Apparently, that particular location has a range of damage zone. So, alright, so you can't leave it anywhere. So, Pathfinder, that's an old, um, let's see, it should have information on it. What the lore is on that. Probably you can see some of the lore for that. In Rui's base or something along those lines. Go to. Probably a bounty hunter that went out to fight an outcast. Yeah, that part to, unless unless someone actually shot me up a bit. I mean, Jeremiah's not there. I am engaging GMG Gamma Eleven. Must be must be the rads getting to me over time. Okay, so we we dock at Ruiz. We'll get repaired. Please proceed to dock two. Outcast. 
See, our, every player can loot every single wreck once. And you can get all the stuff off of it. For every ship they have. And when the, But what happens is, is whoever gets to it first, they get it until the server resets. So that's that's the trick. So you know the first it's a first come first serve kind of thing. Okay, so now we're good here. What kind of guns can we get? Okay, we can get some dragoons. That would be better. Then you see the barragers are 57 per shot at 8.3. So you're looking at you know like 500 or so probably DPS a dragoon is 303 at 222 so you're talking closer to seven i mean that's just that's nice now the pyro though this is a, a tachyon base the pyros which is a higher fire rate and close that's a pretty close dps the particle based weapon requires a tremendous amount of energy these require tremendous amounts of energy too but projectile speed is a thing. And that's really kind of the difference for a lot of this, is how do you want to sync up? What's, what's our Luger shoot at? Our Luger, Luger shoots at uh, 700. Is there another class 6 weapon? Usually you have to be, see, the, the, we could get a Dragoon, but we'd have to be on friendlier terms. You can get a Pyro, so we'd have to be on friendlier terms. But, we can, I have ships that are on friendlier terms. Not in this account, but you know, we have a, we can, we can buy one on another ship and then drop it to this one. So, with that planning in mind of eventually getting another Dragoon, and because the Dragoon is a cool sounding uh, name, let us get some d Dragoon to go with the Luger. Still need a mine. Interestingly enough, I thought there was a ship available for sale here, and apparently there's not. If you look at what's for sale, this is a key place. Alien Orcs. I mean, Cardamine, obviously. But you can get better deals on Cardamine and Alpha. Alien Organisms. The Alien Orcs run is the key run here. And I'm sure I have somewhere an LT that can buy these and run them downtown. I forget which one it is. We'll get back to it. We'll get all this rust shaken off shortly enough. Freelancer Alpha 2-1. This is Ruiz. You are cleared for launch. Good luck out there. Now. Scan on. we got another. The, ho the Hoshu Maru. Advanced star beam turrets. This is Black. Advanced star beams. Those are good. Those are good lower level weapons. I'm sure there's some some pun on the Kobayashi Maru here. Let's uh, set. Now, as I recall, there is something behind Planet I don't remember what. And what version of the game, or was it a single player thing, or something? There's a jump hole around there. Or one of the other systems. We'll, we'll investigate that once we're prob proper properly set up. I have to do some research and remember how the heck to get to Alaska. I've got ships in Alaska. I've got ships here in Alaska. Only once we get this mine arm, we'll, we'll switch character out and then see what jump hole takes you into Alaska. And right now we're just targeting waypoint. Let us target. And ooh, that was a pretty good speed docking maneuver there. Well, no, actually, speed docking. We're docking, but speed dock would have just been click bang, and you're in the, the jump hole. Whoosh. 
<laughs> Welcome to Alpha. Omicron Alpha. Now, as I recall, somewhere up here in the, the sinister cloud, we should dump, we should get Theta on the map real quick before we even get him on. Fate is such an important system. Let us get both of those jump holes on the map. One unexpected benefit of having been away from Freelancer for so long, it's really been a couple years since I've really played it, I think, like regularly, is that it is a little bit fresh. It's, you know, it's funny because I had all this stuff memorized so well. Come on. Doc. Doc. That uh, you know, all this was such old hat. Now it's like, wait a minute, where was that jump hole? Where were those wrecks? Hmm. Oh, I hit something that I, I disabled my away from keyboard. They're saying. No. Up into the sinister cloud, or the sinister cloud. How do you want to call it? Sin. Yesterday cloud, the sinister cloud. I think sinister is probably a better way of putting it. Put this on everything. And zoom. So there's the beta jump hole. Ah, the unknown jump hole. Now, the unknown jump hole is key. Let us, let's cut engines here while we're still 4K out. We'll go to... Alright. We've got an outcast fighter. We're going to scan it. Looks like somebody... Ooh, looks like somebody's already hit the wreck. Not all of them have stuff. You have to find a fighter that has. There's a lot more than I remember. There we go. That is our goal. The Ripper Mine. Guardians. The Guardians are good. You know, we're we're not gonna going after Diamondbacks or anything like that for right now. Let's just get one here. Go to. Now, this is kind of key. We are nearing the uh, the uh, unknown jump hole. I am not going to jump into the unknown jump hole. We are going to zoop right in here as fast as we can Warning. on this outcast fire. Okay, I thought ramming it actually would do something more to that. Is that the oh dear? There we are. Now we're in trouble. They have, they've, oh, this is, this is very bad. Come on, we're cruise disrupted. See, now we're, we're, we're getting shot to bits here. Uh, this is why it's difficult to get these. Respawn at the previous base. Freelancer Alpha 2-1, this is Ruiz. You are cleared for launch. Good luck out there. This is Outcasts. Matter of fact, I had my... Did, did I dump any, um... No, I turned off my droppers. Okay, we have to turn the cruise disruptor droppers off. Because we're going to need those... We have to, we have to have our advanced countermeasures on so the cruise disruptors don't get us. 
normally in vanilla GT, no, 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 GTA, how many videos do I make there? How, normally in vanilla Freelancer, you do not have aliens with cruise disruptors. Welcome to Flu. Where they've been fighting us long enough that they've captured some of our technology and now they can shut down our engines. And this ship is not really terribly equipped. Well, I mean, it can be. If I fire torpedoes at long enough range, then I can get these guys. If I fire them at short range, we're in trouble. And we might disrupt everything and destroy all the stuff we're trying to loot. Luckily, I hadn't looted the stuff before I got blown up. Unless I stopped trying to get that. It was this one. Can we look for one? Now that we've got the mall on that, can we look for one with ha that has diamondbacks? Guardians. Worm type twos. And none of that's useful to me. We might as well go on the edge here. Yeah, any of them lower, any of them closer. To have the weapons. All I want is a ripper mine. For this ship. Looks like the, the, the zone has mostly been picked clean. So the less popular guardians have been left in the worms. The worms are actually probably more popular. Okay. We're going free uh, mode here. We're not going to leave it and go to the whole way. We've got counters on. We're going to run right up into gun range. Warning. Sensor efficiency reduced. Beam them in and then hit the turbos and get the heck out. And I mean just absolutely just as perpendicularly away from the hole as I can do it. Before those nomads spawn in, because if the nomads spawn in, I'm in trouble. And that's of course why there's all those wrecks around there, is because nomads are coming out of the, the alien jump hole here. It's been a long time since I've been in Upper Unknown. And one of the reasons that I, I reinstalled everything was that I went to go to Lower Unknown, which was, you know, an old haunt, and I couldn't find the jump hole. I think there was something messed up. Okay, I think we're far enough away. The main thing we want to do now, before we even explore the rest of Alpha at all, is get back to the nearest base, which Danger. would be in beta. Detected. We want to get this stuff. Oh, I want to get this to uh, Truiz. Get the mine launcher loaded. Let's see, did we get it? Let's go to. So we've got a Ripper mine, which we can mount. We need to mount that, obviously, there. These Class 10 Guardians, which are good, but not top of the line guns are pretty much good for, on this character just for money, but since I run a lot of characters, I can put this on one of my store ships. Life will be good. We'll run this up to uh, to Alaska at some point. Dog. 
And remember, I can't get this back. If I lose, if I get killed, I lose all of these things that I've just gotten. Anything in your storage, you lose. So, and I can never get them again. So they're they're kind of uh, kind of valuable that way. I mean, if you just needed cash, you could cash them out too. I tend to hoard things with this oh, game. Because I never know, well, when will I want to do a, a ship with a layout with some guardians just to see something different. So once we get the Ripper mounted, we're going to switch characters and see if we can figure out the path back to Alpha. Stop. Run the scanners again here. Jeremiah Bullfrog is uh, out in California doing his thing. So. You don't have to worry about him. Back in the day. Acknowledged. Your request when, uh, to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. When there were a lot more people, you know, role-playing as pirates, this would have been a lot more dangerous to do. Definitely would be shot on sight for a while. Just you know, and then, well, you, you know, I don't know if, if the way the game is programmed, do they get, can they beam your stuff in, or is it just lost? Repair complete. Countermeasure purchase two. That's interesting. All right, now this completes for the most part. Now you won't lose ammo if you get killed, so the paralyzers we can kind of keep on here just for fun. As I recall. The Guardians, they're, they're substantially uh, in risk. So, we go to, this is our Eagle store ship. Tau 37. So we can get here through 37. And okay, I think I remember now. All right. So we have a bit of a trek ahead of us here to get to Tau 37. Freelancer Alpha 2 1. This is Ruiz. You are cleared for launch. Good luck out there. To get out to the towers, we're going to have to get back to, uh, to Alpha. I'm trying to think, is 37 the next one after Alpha? It might be. Our Tau is on that side of things. The Tau's are some of the prettiest uh, systems in the game, so that, that'll work for us too. This is going to be somewhat risky as well. You know what? The smart thing to do here. I wonder if I shouldn't just bring the store ship to me. Although, where it is where it is, it is loaded up with nomad weapons and other stuff like that. So I shouldn't move the store ship, even though it's 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 an eagle. It's more far more capable of defending itself. I mean, we do have we do have good armor. So it should be able to at least get away. If I don't dawdle and buffle around. Yeah, if you're if you're flying a freighter, then they can do when you they shoot you down, they can take your stuff. If you're not flying a freighter, they'll shoot you down to the front of it. But again, it would seem. Go to. Interesting, we can go through without selecting a target. Come on. Adjust your path. It would seem that there's not that much going on. As 
far as pirates are concerned. No, it is, you know, late morning on a Saturday, so it's hard to say what goes on on a Friday night. Alpha is one of the uh, more interesting systems. That is where Target is. Malorca doesn't really have anything other to, uh, to uh, we, we can do an info on that, I think. That's how you do it. I should have done info on the other stuff, the other uh, wrecks. This, and we will not know, we won't get its name for a little while yet. This should be Malta. Malta is the home of the outcasts. are called so big you have to kind of you can't just dock when you hit 10k you have to get closer because the docking ring is further away and you won't get much information until you land there plants that you land on you have to land on to get the info this is if you want to do a cardi run a card of mine and this is where you launch from Now, although this isn't my final destination, we got to get it on the map. It's too important. And plus, it's hilarious to have a, a Liberty Bomber landing on Malta like there's nothing going on. Hi, guys! Oh, he's got neutral rep. That's fine. He's not going to blast everybody with smithereenies. Won't give you a second look. Repairing is a good thing too. Repair complete. Another reason this place is so important. This is where you can get the saber. See, I can't show you the, uh, what you call, I'm losing frame rate, which is uh, something I say often anymore, but I'm starting to think maybe I should just even mention it. If you're watching these things at all, you know, frame rate's a thing. 300 for car to mine, 1500 at, at plant man. So that's a, you know, you're talking some serious, serious profits if you got the, uh, if you got the cargo hold to make it worthwhile. I am uploading a video right now, so I wonder if that doesn't have something to do with it. I'm going to be mostly just uploading for the next month, I think. I've got enough stuff that I can pretty much fin you know, have a year's worth of material just in GTA Online. And uh, as we rotate around to other games to some extent, well, at least I can get all that uploaded. And you won't do the, the GTA fans will not miss anything. All three of them. That's... Thanks, guys. I really do appreciate it. Don't get me wrong. Okay, I was just doing bunches of commentary, and I don't even know what I got because I just realized I'm not recording. So we're going to go through this again. Here we are, folks. At the Hispania. This is going to take some editing because I, I don't know where that why that even dropped off. Here we are. We're at the Hispania. And the Hispania is, of course, the sleeper ship. that brought the, the outcasts and the Corsairs 
to uh, to the quadrant. So I mean, you know, it's a, it's a matter of there is another ship over there. We could get their stuff too. Should we get the stuff from the Viking? It is here. Almost none of it is useful to this character, but we are going to our ship in. Uh, Hopefully I don't get killed on the way uh, on the way to the sleeper ship. On the, the way to the store ship. But here we have, you know, the Spaniard. Now, this is a kind of a, a key thing. I'm so glad they put this. Here's the sleeper. You can see the sleeper cells here where everybody was in tanks. Tanks for the memories. And the lore is is that one of some somewhere along the line this ship was sabotaged on its way out. And it blew up was severely damaged, didn't get as far in as everybody else did, and half the people took escape pods and ended up in Crete to become the Corsairs, and the other half ended up as outcasts, so it's always a, a major stop. You have to kind of stop here and pay your respects. I should say, speaking of paying respects, and this is just occurring to me now, Somewhere out here, in these wrecks around the unknown, is where in, in base lore, in the in the fan fiction that I wrote, is where we, we buried Phlegmatic. We, we, we buried him in his Titan-class ship, dragged it out there, because he did have some outcast blood in him, and we gave him an outcast burial. And so, you know, naturally you're not going to find that in game. That's just lore. That's just where we believe him to be. Wow, it's been a while since I thought about that. Wrote it. I wrote the wrote the uh, the text on that, but it's been a while. Alright, not getting modeling today. I'm not in the mood for that. We're just gonna go to this jump. No modeling this today, no. We're just gonna go to thirty seven. Then try to remember where that jump hole is. The Alaska jump hole. So we can get to that store ship. Let's see, can we get a proper sp ah. speed dock on this? Yeah, that was better. That's how you have to do it. particularly good to be able to do that if someone's chasing you. Alright, here we are in a really bright ice cloud. Now, as I recall, it's somewhere around there. It's not a very big system, so all this, although this looks like we're going to have a nice long drive here, it's only 20k away. But we have to be vigilant, because this is another jump hole. Alaska is uh, another system that has outcast, has uh, unknown in it, and has outcasts in it, has everything in it. As far as that's concerned, all the stuff that wants to shoot you. High radiation gravity zone. What is that? Well, that's that's different. Okay, am I going to the right thing here? I don't necessarily want to go to a high radiation gravity zone. I want to just find this jump hole. Which this is a roughly where I remember it being.
Okay, so now we're, we're in kind of in trouble. Because they may have changed. What the heck is a high radiation gravity zone? I've, in, in all my years of playing, I've never seen that. Alright, I was close. Just a, look at that, just a little bit closer. And so now we're locked on the Alaska jump hole. And this is where we want to speed jump this. We want to speed dock this very badly. Because as soon as we approach this, we may spawn the aliens, the nomads. We don't want that. We want to hit, absolutely hit the cruise engines as soon as we get out of this. Okay, we got bounty hunters. Now this is a much larger system. 125. Now as I recall, somewhere up here there is a um, there is a base. It's a it's a Corsair base for no reason whatsoever. Santa Ana base. There we go. Let's let's get that on the. First of all, that puts us a little bit fur uh, further on the outside of the corona field here to get to go around the star. We can check for weapons, see if they have anything better than what we, we've got on here. I forget what's for sale in Santa Ana. Now this is this is all custom. None of this is in is in vanilla, so it's I am. Oh, I'm minding my own business. I don't have the guns. I mean, I can take someone out with torpedoes, but you'd have to really be very careful and do it properly. A torpedo is not something for... Class unknown. Ships for sale. Saber and stiletto. So they're selling outcast... Uh, outcast... Uh, whatchamacallit? Outcast ships. Dragoons, Pyros. Okay, so it seems like this is, you know... Okay, so they've made this. This used to be, I think it was, at one point, a Corsair base with Outcast. But now they've made it more outcasty. As a quasi-legitimate business venture in gold mine, a Yukon asteroid field was found rich in gold deposits, and the, and the base was developed in order to take advantage of the mining opportunity. Some suspect, however, this is just a front and is actually being used as a smuggling way station or base of operations for illegal activity. Well, let us, speaking of illegal activity, let's, uh, what kind of weapons can we get here? Now, interestingly enough, now I can get the Dragoon Class 6. So let us look here. Three, um... Now that's got a higher rate of fire. No, it doesn't. It's the same thing. So we're looking at it. This is, this is straight up comparison. 303 fire rate, 312 and 156. 316 and 158 is just a straight up better gun so we're going to sell that and buy that one of the nice things about coming to the, the vanilla locations here is you know there's still some things the debilitators advanced debilitators that you still need the level eight things but they have loosened some things up so they're easier to get so now we're really truly well and properly set up now, this is what messes with you. If you look at the guy's outfit, it says Outcast, but that's that's a Corsair outfit. They do have high-paying missions here. I guess so. It depends. If you want to build an Outcast character, this is a good place to go. If you want to do smuggling. So you can get gold, which is good. You can also get artifacts, which is typically a Corsair thing, not an Outcast thing. This should be cardamine. 
But you know, I think it would be interesting to see that if it was Carter Mike. You know, well, either way, going from here through to New York, that's an excellent that's an excellent smuggling path. You can make some fine money smuggling artifacts into Plant Manhattan. I mean, that's just a thing. It's not a thing we're gonna do right here, but. For right now. Ping, ping, ping. Okay, there we go. Those guns are always firing. Okay, we still have far away point one to set. Now, as we light these engines up, it looks like we're flying right at a star, but we're in go to mode. So it will steer us around the corona. As we see the rocks start to fade away a little bit to the to the left there. It's, I still don't understand these spiky rocks. Like why do these exist? I mean, they're cool, but what kind of formation space would cause this? Is it because they're being warped and stretched by the corona field? Uh, you know, is it a crystalline kind of thing? I don't know. I do know that all of this makes okay. So here you are at 76k away from my location, which is kind of arbitrary because that's just a spot. Here you are, you can see on the map. More to the point. That's how far away we are from the sun. It's moving us around here. We could, we could probably target that. We hit something. Oh, we hit a rock. Alright, that was distracting. Okay, we're just gonna zip. We're not gonna worry about distance here. We're just gonna get around this Corona field. There's obviously some. There, this goes to, I believe, there's some some jump holes here that go different places. None of which are suitable for this vehicle, for the most part. You need a very heavy fighter to get through those. You need some class 10 guns is what you need. This thing cannot shoot as well as... It can tank a lot of damage, but in the grand scheme of things, not that much. I mean, you know, your armor... Well, this this might buy you an extra second or two over a very heavy fighter with just the armor, but not really very much. Right, let's pull out of... As you can see, the entire area is going to be asteroid. And it must be said, I do fire torpedoes in this area, but not on this ship. Not five at once. Like you would if you were firing at a capital ship. And at some point, we may, we may go hunting for uh, for capital ships. With this. I wonder if I should leave it here in Alaska and then only traverse to New York. As the case may be, now, if I get if I end up uh, having getting in, uh, in touch with some of my other base mates, and we go to hang out in New York, I always have them come up to Alaska. But you know that seems awfully presumptuous. Okay, so now we're starting to see Navy. And those Defender Elites, there they are not vanilla either. Let's take a look at this. They've got Diamondbacks to begin with, which you cannot mount on a normal Defender. Come to think of it, I don't even think you could, at least the last time I, I flew one, I have a Defender, I have some Defender Elites. I think you're limited. I guess you could put some Diamondbacks on, but where do they have those? I think they're level 9 points, so you can't necessarily necessarily do that, but we're getting in range here where we should be picking up on some locations. 
Yeah, switch targeting to over here. Go to. We'll follow the curve of the uh, of the patrol path. Now we should be beyond anything that wants to shoot at us. You're not going to see nomads out this far. Unless you get a weird mission or something like that. So this should come up with a base. Junio Shipper, that's what we're looking for. Battleship Colorado is where we're heading more towards, but what we want to look for is the shipyard. Nice thing about this is surrounded by battleships and shipyards, nothing's really going to bother us. Unless it's another player, we can always check the players. Is anybody. Jeremiah Bullfrog is just hanging out in California. Request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. He's doing his California thing. This is maybe Epsilon 5 submitting data. Transmission received, Navy Epsilon 5. Where are you heading? We're en route from the Tau 37 system. We're heading to the New York system. And you see, the trick here is, is that although you can go through the New York jump gate, you can't get back in that way. You can't go back to the jump It's a one-way jump gate. At least the last time I played this. So once you are here, let's see, what kind of ship can you buy here? Defender, Defender Elite, and the Infiltrator. And the Infiltrator is a very interesting ship in that it has a cloaking device. That's, and it's... And it's it travels at twice the normal cruise speed of other ships. That is a great little ship. I do have one. We can have some fun with that at some point. Courage 5 and 1. Yeah, it does have some class 10 points on but I don't think necessarily where they had it mounted. I do love the Defender Elite. It's a great ship. Scrap melon, toxic waste, anybody? Not the best thing here for that, but watch this now. This is where it gets fancy and dancy. I'm sure I've done other videos where I demonstrate how to do this, but... This gives you a little insight here. Dock raping is not allowed on the server. If the person wants to leave, you can... They can be allowed to leave without cargo. That that was kind of the, the balance between allowing people to not be completely as trapped in a base and allowing them to, be able to leave somewhere, but still giving the pirates enough power to basically make your life miserable unless you could blow them up. One thing we haven't looked at is our shield. We should get we should look at getting perhaps a better level eight shield, which we might be able to do here. Hmm. But first off, here's a little tech. Here's the technique, folks. Okay, first of all, let's make sure our other ship is available. Select new character. This is my store ship, which I think you can have safely a hundred items on. We have less than that. It's all just cannons and blasters for the most part. We should fix those up. Not the middle wing. Repair. We launch our store ship. Get it outside. Hit the brakes. Now, we should be close enough. Is there more than one? No, it's just this side. 
There's only one dock point. Okay, so we're close enough to beam in. Select new character. Of the Hustler. Now there's a technique to this. You can't do this just willy-nilly. You select everything you want to drop. Now, you might be tempted just to swap characters right now. Let's see, can we see the, um, the door is open? Yeah, there you are. There's the open doors. You have to wait till the door is closed and the shield's reactivated before you switch. Or you have to wait till the door is closed or you have to wait that amount of time if, if your ship is not set up for this. With, you know, like the LTs, it's a little bit harder to do. Select new character. Quickly. And now, beam the stuff in. Roger that. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock two. You could leave your, your store ship out in space. And as I recall, there was some some reason to do that. Like, it was actually safer because if you ended up with too many items, it wouldn't glitch your account out if you were still in space. It's only when you landed that it would kind of count things up and the game would freak. But I just like to keep fewer amounts on any given store ship. Were those guns damaged at all? Nope. And just for role playing, let's leave it parked. Okay, let's select the hustler here once again. And now it's pretty much you don't have to worry about it. If you get killed, you're not losing anything. There's nothing loose. Got 20 paralyzers. I could just use that's kind of just a point of. Point of pride. <laughs> the paralyzer missile was taken out because it was too OP. You can see why. We just completely annihilate shields. So theoretically, you could fire a paralyzer and then stutter fire another, like a cannonball, pam pam, and just annihilate somebody. You never see it coming. So at least with the, without the paralyzer, you have to land at least one burst of of uh, tizonas in them or something like that before they would get completely torn to bits. Increase the skill level for getting a, a one-shot kill, basically, a one-pass kill. Request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. So now I have to kind of think about this. I mean, it's going to be a heck of a trek if I go through that jump gate and go back to New York. It will be an absolute, you know, trek to get, star trek to get this back up to Alaska. And there may be some things worth exploring here. There may be some uses. If I can do, a, do some reconnaissance, perhaps of my very heavy fighter, and find some battleships that need to be taken out. There might be, there, it might be better to have a hustler here. Let's, we'll have to put this hustler wherever there are battleships to hunt. The other place where it could be, I know there's battleships in Lower Unknown. And again, it would be very difficult to, to take out a battleship solo. It, but it might be a fun thing to do with your buddies. And my buddies are trying to get back into this game a little bit, so we're going to see how that all goes. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, hanging out where all my ships are here at the naval base here, at the shipyard. See, this is where I mo mostly make my money because there's, there's higher paying missions than this. There are, there are million dollar missions here. But even so, those are fun. I don't know, maybe with the latest update they're lower. I don't know, but I, we'll, have to, we'll have to experiment with that a little bit. But all these notes, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.